Legend of Total War here, and today we'll be starting a new campaign series for Rome Total War. I'll be playing as the Scipii Romans, uh, which I haven't done a Let's Play on before. Alright, so before I get started with the gameplay, I just wanted to spend a minute talking to you guys about White Tie Games. I've recently become affiliated with them, and I'd, I'd like it if you guys go and check them out. Um, if you're familiar with like G2A games, it's a similar sort of thing, except there's, um, I don't think there's any peer-to-peer -peer selling. So, as far as I can tell, um, all of the, the game um, keys that you get are are completely legitimate. I've spoken to um, the developers of the website and um, what they do is they actually get, the, they communicate with the publishers directly and sell it through the websites that are, are legitimate CD keys. So if you really want to support the, the industry and not buy games that could have been purchased through fake credit cards, um, to give White Tie Games a go. Um, check out some of their um, some of their deals. If you haven't purchased Rome Total War, um, check out my affiliate link below and buy this fucking game because it's great. Anyway, let's get into the campaign. So we're playing as the Imperial Campaign. As you can tell, this is a fresh installation. Uh, many of you know that I recently bought a new computer. This is we're using the new computer now. Um, so this is the first campaign series that I've done with, with the new computer. Um, which, it's all of its processing power, which it, it's, a, it's a beast. It's kind of wasted on Rome Total War because it can only access one of the cores. But that being said, each core is much better than my, my previous um, computer's cores. Alright, let's just jump in here. For some reason, I don't know what's going on. I guess I haven't fully configured my um, my recording software. When it comes to looking at the um, the videos in this game in particular, it doesn't like recording it. It just has really choppy frame rate. Um, I don't know why that is. All right, so what we're going to be doing on this campaign is a little bit different to what I've done in the past. Um, in that I want to play this game just for fun this time. I'm not trying to prove to everyone how fast I can do it. Because in the past, you know, if you took, if you take my Brutio campaign, I think I did that one in 21 years, the, the entire campaign. Uh, I didn't conquer the whole map, but I got, I got, I got like 60, 70% of the, the settlements and got victory conditions. You know, because I, you know, went around doing exploits and killing everyone as fast as I could. I don't really want to do it this way. I'd rather take a slower approach and have a bit more fun. I'd like to see the other Roman factions build up so that we can have a really, uh, really good civil war. Um, well, more, uh, more, a more challenging civil war, if nothing else. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's probably going to be a slower paced campaign in that regard. What I'd also like to do is basically be the Senate's bitch um, in that I'm going to endeavor to succeed in every single mission that they give me and I'm going to defend the Republic as much as possible. Sort of be like the historical Scipio Africanus who was who was very much in favor of the Republic in my opinion. Um, so at some point either the Julii or the Brutii will start the Roman Civil War. I will refuse to do it in this campaign and when that happens I will protect Rome, uh, protect the Senate from whichever faction decides to do it. So that's, that's my, one of my goals of the campaign is to preserve SPQR as a faction. So we'll, we'll just see how we go with that. Sometimes things don't go according to plan. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also going to be experimenting with uh, the video length. Now, in the past, I've you know experimented a little bit, tried with half hour long videos, tried with um, hour long videos. And as you guys know, um, in re regard to the way the YouTube algorithms have been working, it works better for me to have campaign series that are less in episode numbers. And as you guys have seen in, in like previous, in, in other series, um, in order to get those episodes down from like a hundred episodes down to, you know, something more manageable like 10 or 15, I would, you know, pretty much after episode five or, or whatever would start gutting the content because most people have stopped watching by that point anyway. Now, a lot of people have um, expressed their, um, dissatisfaction with that which I, I completely understand but you know like I said there was a reason for it no one was watching so if, if very few people were watching you know the complaints don't really matter that much however like I'm, I'm still experimenting with these things so I want to try and 
my, my channel's going through reforms at the moment, and unfortunately, I can't just hit the nail on the head on the first try. I've got to try new things. So what I'm going to try on this campaign is rather than gut the entire campaign after, after five episodes, for the entirety of this campaign, we're going to have one hour and a half long episodes, so 90 minute long episodes. Now, I know that some people will say straight off the bat that, oh, I don't have time to watch 90 minutes in any given session. But the thing is, you know, if, you, if you're watching a video and you close off YouTube and then you come back to it the next day, it remembers where you're up to. So does it really, does it really matter if it doesn't, I mean, at the end of the day, my campaigns are usually just one long continuous thing anyway without breaks un until I started gutting them, that is. So it really doesn't make that big of a difference whether or not it's an hour and a half, two hours, three hour long video, it makes no difference. I mean, at the end of the day, w which, which campaign is longer? 20 episodes that are an hour and a half each or 30 episodes that are one hour long each. It, it's the same length. So I'm giving this a shot, see how it works. If it doesn't work out, we'll try something new. Got to try new things if you want to expect a different result. As, as the saying goes, only a fool does the exact same thing each time and expects a different result. All right, now with all that being said, let's play the fucking campaign. Orders. All right, so the Senate gave me the mission to take Syracuse. So I want to bring most of my guys down here. The faction... Oh, hang on. Who, who's this? Gaius Scipio. I want you to stay at Capua. I want the heir to come down here. Now, the reason why I want to keep the general there is so that for the settlements that we enslave, if we've got a general at our capital, I want, I want, I want to get to the Marian reforms as quickly as possible. So I need to get to a huge city. And you need to have it uh, with a with a governor in there in order to get the uh, the bonuses. Ready to sail. Ready to uh, I did say I wasn't going to use any exploits, well, so, uh, so I won't um, use the boat exploit to get down here faster. All right, if you could just stay down here, we'll wait for a good opportunity to get into Syracuse. Can you get into here? Yes, you can. Let's do this. I'd also like to keep a somewhat more historic structure to my. Uh, to my armies. I mean, if you if you're comparing it to like my Brutii campaign, like halfway through the campaign, I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm just hiring all cavalry because cavalry is king." You get you you get the enemy out in the open playing field, and a few bits of cavalry you can conquer like crazy. Infantry, you you really can't do it to that same extent. But the Romans did focus very heavily on infantry, and we do have the best infantry in the game, once we get to late tier stuff. Now because we're playing on the hardest difficulty, the low tier infantry is truly worthless in most cases, largely because of morale. On the hardest difficulty, morale is, is we get a big penalty to it. So you're in the middle, not even the middle, you're starting a fight, and then your men start running away. Well, it's, it's pointless to even have them, to have these low tier infantry. So we really need to sort of get those higher tier infantry that have good morale earlier on and also try and give them more uh, experience and bonuses and that stuff to really really make sure that they lock down and don't break because otherwise otherwise they're useless. A unit that has, that has low morale, regardless of its attack and defense stats, is fucking worthless. All right, now, let's have a look here. Let's mm -hmm. see, what are we doing here? Getting phone calls, I'm a very popular person. I'm not really, but whatever. Okay, so let's see. What am I going to build? All right. Um, it. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the Scipio stuff because, like I said, I, I don't usually play as them that often. I think we need to plan ahead. Don't want to be destroying stuff later down the track. I mean, it doesn't really matter about this stuff here, but when it comes to which religion we want to pick. Okay, so Vulcan. Actually, we should have a look at the building browser here. Let's see what's available. Okay, so we have Neptune, which requires a port, Saturn, and Vulcan. So we have a look at the end game stuff and see what we get. So if we go with Vulcan, we can upgrade light, we can upgrade weapons, uh, experience bonus to trips plus two. Not great for public order, but since it's our capital and I intend to keep it the capital for the entire campaign, then <clears throat> um, that's probably a good choice for Capua if we intend to recruit our best troops from here later down the track. Uh, if we look at here, this is this will be good for maintaining public order um, and all the other settlements. And for Neptune, I think we should build this in Sicily and only in Sicily so that we can get our best naval units. The uh, the Scipii do get the best naval units in the game. The uh, 
the, what was it fucking called again? It was like the Dekir or the, I can't remember, let me just check. But it's a huge vessel. Which one's better, the Dekir or, yeah, the, this one is. With 300 upkeep, 240 men, massive stats. Everyone else is stuck with Quinquireems. So we, we get a full stack of those and we'll, we'll dominate the seas. Alright, so, what are we going to build here? So we need to build a port, if we want to build that, but we don't need to really focus- yeah, we'll get a port, that'd be good. Alright, so, and over here, we don't- we don't really need the Vulcan right now, but just build it anyway. Now, do I want to be recruiting anything? Probably not from here. Anything from here? I certainly don't want to be hiring Town Watch. It's, it's, there's no point in this campaign to hire a Town Watch. I will hire some peasants though, because those will maintain the garrison after we've left. Let's increase the taxes here. It's very high because I'm going to need the money. And Diplomat. I don't really bother too much with Diplomacy. I'll keep the taxes low here because we need the population to grow as fast as possible. So the, this settlement's bigger than the other one, right? So we've got 4,800. Yeah, so it's, it's much bigger. Financially, how are we going? Um, we're making 68 denarii a turn, but that's okay. Once we take Syracuse, we'll be much better off. Let's go. So the Senate wants you dead. I mean, I could have got some bit of money out of them, but whatever. Oh, good, they took some forces out of the settlement because, for well, for whatever reason. But that that's good for us. Are you able to make it there? Good. God damn, people keep texting me. I just turn off my phone before making videos. Um, send in the generals. Firstly. Yes, attack neutral faction. And the gates are open. But because they've got stone walls, that's not really a good option. If it was medieval 2... Well, oh, hang on, I'll just explain that in a minute. Just trying to make sure everything's nice and organized here. So looking at this... The, okay, we can dump the taxes a little bit if we want to bring these, which I do. And then readjust. Alright, so yeah, now we could attack and take this right now, but the problem is that on huge unit scale, I mean, they open up the gate, but the, the towers still shoot at you, so you end up taking a lot of damage. We've got a barracks here, militia hoplites, so I don't think I'd be able to repair or retrain the, the Hastati from here with this. Ah, fuck it. Let's just do it anyway. Spy got in. Let's make use of it. And that's not to say that... Just referring something to back on. That's, um, not to say that we're not going to... Um, I'm not going to cut some of the content out. I think, I think it's important that I do need to edit my videos a little bit. Let's listen to this. And a warrior makes his own fate. Do not fear these over nice Greeks. They have come to fight, it is true. But they will only stay to die. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. Those fools have never fought against me before. I hope to give them a nasty surprise. By this time tomorrow, our sword arms will ache from overuse! <laughs> Right, so something that I'll do in this campaign is, is try and show all the all the for all the major battles, show the generals' speeches, uh, because they put a lot of effort into into doing it for the Romans in this particular game. Anyway, as I was saying before, the general speeches is that some content will be cut out after episode five, but it'll be stuff like when I'm just going through all the buildings and trying to decide what to build because people. I don't think that's particularly interesting, but all my strategic moves and stuff, that'll all be shown. Now, I'm not certain whether or not I'm going to go for whole map completion. It largely will depend on how, how how overall, how positively received this campaign is and how much I enjoy it. So, we'll see how we go. I'm open to doing it, though. Because, like I said, I, just really, I need to focus on just having fun rather than just always be focusing on views all, all the time. Because I don't think that's really working for me these days. Alright. So, I want to send someone possibly around over here. Alright, that's 
go. Which side are they? The general's there. Okay, no one's over here. Now, like I said, this this will still be going. The towers will still be be shooting. What we need to do is just send one of these guys over here to go and capture the walls. I wonder if we also take boiling oil damage. We have to get in here. Now, there's no boiling oil damage, but you can see the towers still do more than enough damage. Okay, then they need to reform up, get up on the walls. Alright. So we ended up taking a little bit under 40 casualties, despite having the spy in, and despite it not being defended. Now, as I was mentioning before, the way that Medieval 2 differs is that they need to actually defend the towers that they want to attack from. Hang on, just come over here. They need to defend the towers if they wanted to shoot. Which I think is better. Also in Medieval 2, if you capture the tower, it doesn't shoot for you. Only, only the defender can get it to shoot. And they certainly don't shoot backwards like they're doing this. But that being said, capturing the towers does give you extra strategic options, which I'm always for. Uh, I don't think we need to capture anything else. So let's get these guys in here. Now the problem that we're going to face now is in regard to morale. The units in here are, um, hmm, they're not going to break, so, and our troops here, they're not going to do a very good job against, um, against General's bodyguard. They need to use their javelins. Now, we've got quite a few generals here, but that being said, they've got pikes, so we're in a bit of a... a a disadvantage in regard to our the units that we have to attack them. Another thing is that what I'd like to do is to set my units over here and put them on and fire at will. But the problem is in regard to pathfinding when you got it on a uh, huge unit scale, it can get a little bit all over the place. So let's just um, let's just work on this one at a time. Because if that general comes out here, he's just going to just wreck our units, which is not good. Pathfinding is not great. Okay, basically as long as you don't touch the inner, s inner square here, they'll just stay where they are. And we'll bring in some more over here. So yeah, like I said, I just want them all set up nice and ready so they can just move just a little bit into the, um, into the town square and shoot off their jabs, off their pile. Pila, or however it's pronounced. We also have archers, need to put them in the back as well. Now, all of this preparation is crucial because if we don't do it, we're going to take a lot of casualties. If we if we do it, we we still might take a lot of casualties, but we won't take as much. I mean, I think we've got their, their king or, the, or their faction heir right here. General's bodyguard units, very strong in the early campaign. And in the late campaign as well, but by the late campaign you've got units that can counter them properly. Okay, that's it. Organize yourselves without touching this. Alright, good. Now you need to come here. You need to be behind them a little bit. Because you've got to keep them close by or else... These guys will break. Alright, now these guys here hold their position. We're getting a little bit closer in a minute. So I want my archers over here. Ready to go as well. No, I want them in this section here. They'll... No, no, no. Oh, fuck. They walked in there. The pathfinding for these guys is really bad. Alright, that's fine. No harm done. We all lost some fresh here. Yep, good. Now start moving just a little bit closer. Alright, I 
think that's a good position right there. Right, now you can start shooting. And we'll see how they, they respond to that. Alright, so, what's he doing? Come on, shoot your pillar. Like I said, taking some damage, but it's okay. They're holding the line. Alright, you... Shoot them. Okay, just need them to hold their position just for the time being. Because then I'll get him to come in and help in just a moment. I need to get get out of the way. I just finish him off then. Okay, so a lot of people have asked me, how do I, how do you turn off the like the event messages? Uh, you do that in the uh, the preferences file. You have to go in and look for event cutscene and then turn it to false. Because I know that you know in the middle of the battle, watching even just a one second clip, okay, just get the fuck out of there because they've got pikes coming in. Our guys here will, will easily handle them. Yeah, the uh, event cutscenes can actually be the difference between victory and defeat. You could be in the middle of making an, an important order, because battles happen very fast in this game. And then you're in the middle of a, a cutscene, and it could be the enemy general's death, but because you were watching that cutscene, your own general gets killed, or something along those lines. Right. You come around over here. Stop. Okay, yeah, don't don't worry about shooting the pillar. Let's just get in there. Keep these guys in def defensive formation. I'll do it anyway. Keep these guys in defensive formation because this is where their strong point is. We don't want them to turn their bikes around. They're broken formation now. So you don't need to be in defensive formation. Go and attack it. We still... We lost slightly less units than them. Which I guess is good because, you know, we did take out a general's bodyguard. And we've taken the settlement. The settlement is its own reward, really. Okay, so yeah, let's enslave it so that... A lot of people can go to Kapua. So that's... That's gone up by, like, nearly 2,000. This is turn... 2, I think. Yeah, yeah, because we had the spy get in there. So that's where the other rest of the army went. And well, that cost them dearly, didn't it? Good. So Kapua is growing. Senate mission. Good, giving us 5,000. War with the... The Greeks. As the Senate commands. So yeah, I'll also not really, I'll, I'll do nothing without essentially the Senate permission. I mean, if I'm already at war with someone, I'll continue to fight them. But for example, I'm not going to start a war with Carthage unless the Senate gives me permission to go for it. Alright, let's get some more ships in here. Ready to sail. Now because this is a, just a regular city, I think we should build a barracks here, which will give us access to Astarte so that we can retrain the units that we've got here and also recruit new ones. Although I'd much prefer to get Principes, which have higher morale, I think. Um, what else do we need here? So I will eventually build Neptune. We'll do in this one first. Um, keep the taxes high. We don't need this one to, to grow too much. Keep it where it is. Alright, all good. All good, moving on.
All right. So the uh, the Senate want me to take out uh, Carthage now anyway. So no problem there. But we've got we've got Greeks in the area. And they will need to be dealt with. Otherwise, they're just going to take the settlement back. Ooh. Quite a few units on that boat. I would love to sink them. All right, I want you to come around over this side here. You're going to make the attack. Because we want to send them in this direction. We don't want them going home. The rest of you come here. Yes, Captain. I, Captain. Prepare to engage. So... Where did they go? Just trying to contemplate how we're going to... What are we going to send out there? I'll send this ship to go looking for it. Yes, Captain. Also recruit another Byron from here. If we can sink that... I think that's what had their elephants on them as well. Yeah. Alright, cool. Because they start off with elephants in here. Because yes, Shit. That's not what I want to do. Not a big deal. Well, that's not what I want to do. Alright, so they, they went and chucked a spy in here, so I'll have to lower the tax rates. I should have recruited peasants. Oh wait, no, no, I recruited the Byron, we needed that. So I'll recruit peasants here, or maybe I should have recruited peasants here, so they could send down. Whatever. Um, let's get rid of these monkey fuckers. Blockading my port, oh no you don't. Oh, also, another thing that we're going to be doing in this campaign is we're going to keep the Scipio bloodline pure, in that the um, we're not going to be adopting or doing any Man of the Hours in this campaign. Every single one of my commanders will have the surname Scipio. Which means I'll, you know, have to rely very heavily on keeping my family alive. Because in previous campaigns, you guys know what I've been like. I'm like, throw a general around who really gives a shit because we're just adopting a new one as soon as the spot becomes available. But since we're not going to be doing that, I need to be a bit more careful with them. Alright, let's have a look at what they've got. I should have had a look before this thing. Um, they've got some archers. Alright, yeah. It's, it's not a big deal. Actually, they look like they're coming to us. Wait, if they're coming to us... Okay, hang on. Let's get our, our generals to go and round up their, uh, their missile units. If we can get them out of the way, we can then skirmish the fuck out of the uh, the other troops. Keeping our, our troops um, in good shape. Because the good thing about General's Bodyguard, of course, as you guys know, they are the only units in the game that replenish their uh, casualties. Without having to, you know, manually retrain them. He should be able to take out those archers. Let's see if we can active slow down. Oh shit. Got too close to this one here, but that's okay. No no harm done. Yeah, do not be charging into these pikes. Pikes just wreck cavalry, especially on this difficulty. Good. They're too slow to be able to keep up with the, the Peltus and they ran away out of safety. Okay, they're moving forward, that's good. Let them come. I don't think these archers would come back. No, 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 don't, don't shoot them. It's a waste of, waste of ammunition. Good, they just get wrecked. Don't want them shooting just yet. Waste of ammo to, to shoot routing units. Alright, now 
you get your chance to shoot. What are these? Militia hoplites. What are these? Regular hoplites. Alright. I don't know if it's pronounced hoplites or hoplites. I really don't give a crap. Because the thing is, when you when you pronounce something, trying to pronounce something, where you, you couldn't possibly know exactly which one it is, you get people saying, if you, if you say hoplites, people will say, it's pronounced hoplites. And then you pronounce it hoplites, some people will say, it's pronounced hoplites. And I'm just like, well, I'll just pronounce it how I feel like I'm pronouncing it. At the end of the day, you know, guys know what I'm talking about, so who gives a shit? Also, it was pretty funny with the... Uh, the uh, April Fool's Day joke campaign. How many people thought like I completely lost my mind because of the uh, the intro? They're like, "What the hell happened to Legend?" It's like, come on, guys. I pull I pull some degree of prank on you every year with a uh, with a April Fool's Day thing. And I know it says it was it was like published on March 31st, but the thing is, I published that at like 1 or 2 p.m. on on one uh, the first of April my time. It's just. America is so far behind in regard to the uh, time to Australia, which is where I'm from, that it's, you know, the only way I, pop I possibly could have uploaded that, so it would have been, you know, actually one, p uh, one sorry, the 1st of April, your time, was to do it fucking midnight my time, pretty much. You guys are pretty much a day behind me. I think we're like 15, 16 hours behind a lot of America. Alright. Just about getting into combat. A lot of. Pretty much all the casualties we took were friendly fire. Okay, you should stop shooting. So, how do we go with that? We lost three. No, no, no. We didn't lose three men. We lost 15. Because it doesn't say how many casualties you took. It says how many you killed. So they killed three of my men. Which means I killed 12 of my own men. Was it 25? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Alright, so what we'll do here... Just move some of the experience around. So that's not the experience. Some of the units around. And leave the damaged units behind. For retraining once that thing is done. So even on low tax rates, still like that. Okay, well, we can lower the population by just spamming. Oh, okay, that's not going to work. Seventy percent should keep it under control. We're going. I think we're going to have to build the the thing of Neptune here because that will give us a little bit of happiness. So that'll just have to take priority over that. We should, without any real difficulty, be able to take on. Lilybyum with the reduced number of troops because Lilybyum. Mm, it's, it's got a few troops, but I, I think we can handle it. Let's get in there, see if the spy can open the gate. Okay, just haven't built something in Masana. Alright, um. We can build another barracks here, but I really need the population to grow. So let's go with land clearance. Because that way you get money and population growth. Oh, what the fuck? Look at the huge number of rebels that show up. Well, excuse me, whatever. Alright, now where's that dickheaded... There it is. How many of them are left? See, that, that was right, there's the elephants. If we can sink this fleet... Okay, you can't initiate the attack, but you can, you can show up. If we can sink it... Then that's a lot of their troops that just disappear. Okay, it went in the opposite direction that I wanted it to, but... So who's this? It's just a family member. You better bloody sink them. We may not be able to chase it that much further. I saw them go up this way. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. Out of move, sir. Aye, Captain. Set sail. No it's, they're probably somewhere in this water out here. Aye, Captain. You're now, we're also going to need some ships to, to get these guys 
out of here, but whatever, we'll work on that later. 100% chance, alright, good. Who's this? Okay, I know, they're faction leader. Oh, that's gonna make things annoying, because it's... High quality troops trying to take out us. Uh, I'm sorry, high Hastati trying to take out high quality troops. It's not going to work out so well. So, I don't know. You get over here. Besiege the settlement. Okay, it's not open this time. What mercenaries are available for us? Okay, those will help a little bit. I'm terrible at dealing with pikes because pikes. Pikes are a defensive unit. Like, don't get me wrong. If I'm defending a settlement, I got like a handful of pikes. I can defend the settlement. But pikes in an attacking settlement maneuver are, sh are truly shit units, in my opinion. And I think people who are good at pikes are people who are very defensive players. I happen to be a very. I like to be on the attack. That's where. I, that's why I don't like pikes. It's like some people like to just get off on. Well, look at me, I defended the settlement. I'm the greatest general of all time. Well, anyone can fucking defend a settlement. It's really not that hard. The AI is not very smart. Um, attacking the settlements is, is a much more skilled commander, in my opinion. Um, right, I'll pull this off. It looks like it will need one more. Right, everything else under control. We can. Oh, well, hang on. There it is. Oh, looking in the wrong, wrong area. Well, that's okay. It's not going to be able to move during the end turn, so we'll just hire another bio rib, and it will sink it eventually. All right, let's move on. As for this, now I I know for a fact attacking this is is not going to be. Um, it's, it's, we're going to take casualties, especially when dealing with 84 generals bodyguard. And one of the problems is that any one of your generals, like one of my bodyguard here might be able to beat theirs, but the thing is you got to look after your general himself and he's usually the first one into combat. So we've got to be careful about that. All of these guys here as well, you know, if we, if we get heaps of guys killed and we got to retrain them from somewhere, which takes up troops. So all the Scipio, where was he? He showed up. He showed up there, did he? Okay. Well, we'll sort that out eventually. All right. So. Oh God damn it! They just—they don't want to get sunk, do they? He went down here this time. See the Julii are getting on top of the. Um, yeah, you come down here as well because you've yes, already got Captain. one star. No more moves, sir. Fleet ready. You can see that the uh, the Julii are about to attack Corallus. Which whatever. Um, they've already got Suggesta as well, and the Brutii have Apollonia. Leaving the Roman other Roman factions to own the devices, they will eventually pretty much conquer the entire world. For the most part. They, they can conquer a lot of settlements, but the thing is, when they really get to like the fringes, they run into public order problems. The AI is not as good as, as we are at, um, at managing public order. In addition to that, they get absolutely no cheats. They don't get any, I don't think they get any public order bonuses. Like, if you look at Total War Warhammer on Legendary difficulty, they get like a plus 10 public order bonus. And even on Easy difficulty, they get a public order bonus. So, on Legendary... Sorry, on... Total War Warhammer, even when you put the game on easy, the AI still gets cheap bonuses. That's how bad the AI is. Anyway, um, so Masana, what do we need here? Like, we don't desperately need Neptune right now. Um, let's get the trader, because I think that improves population growth. But at the same time, I want to keep the taxes where they are, because I need the money. I don't have heaps. Um... At Capua, what do we need? I think we should build a port here. That way we can import slaves from um, Sicily. Which will increase pop, uh, population growth. So I'm just waiting there. Now we can make our attack here, but I'm, I'm just... A question whether or not we should starve them out. I mean, four turns. Or we attack... Because it's... If we attack, we really will take a lot of casualties. Look, let's just hold the siege down. Because... We're in no rush in this campaign, and I'd rather not risk these these guys' lives right now. All right, let's move on. 
Because if they came out and fought us, we'd kick their ass. In an open, open battle, it'll be a lot easier for me to control my cavalry. Inside the settlement, it'll be a lot more difficult. Anyway, we were still waiting on reinforcements from Syracuse. We've got to build things up. I refuse to build, uh, train any town watch and have them in the army. They're just, they're going to be worse than, than useless because it, when they route, they, they lower the morale of all the other units in the army. So yeah, don't, don't, don't train them, fuckers. All right, um, we've got to find this damn navy. Set sail. Where are they? Shit, where are they? Set sail. Yes, Captain. I can't find them. Ready, ah, there they are. Okay, well, they can't get too far. We just want to make sure they don't get back to their mainland because, well, for obvious reasons, if they get back there, um, there's just more troops that we have to fight. Alright. I don't really want to recruit any new Prinkipay. I'd rather get... Oh, crap. Um, yeah, I want the Legion Barracks because it gives us Prinker Pays, but I don't have enough money to purchase it. How's our finances coming along? It, very badly. We're not going to have enough money next turn to do it either. How much... To, how's the Senate feeling about things? Got to keep an eye on that. Okay, so the Senate... Uh, yep, they... Whatever, they don't like them. They got seven turns, so yeah, we'll have time to start that. We'll, just, we'll be given good units for that. That's of no real use for me. See, if I cancel construction of some of these things, I might be able to to purchase the barracks. It's just it's just not available. Maybe we just need to focus on on um, on our economy. We'll, we'll we'll worry about getting more troops later. Um, so I think a shipwright would be, hmm, what would be a good idea? Let's get communal farming, I think that'll be useful. And of course retrain these units so they can go back to Lilibium to help them. That all just worked out nicely, got 36 denarii left. We are not raking in the cash right now. But that's okay, once we get another settlement, that'll certainly help. So they've got two more turns. It, it's almost pointless to attack them at this stage. Since it's only two turns to siege. Okay, so you over here. What am I going to do to fucking get rid of you? 13 men left. Finally, and all of them are dead. That's what we wanted to see. Bring these guys to port and consolidate this navy. Since we'll be operating in the southern Mediterranean, I think it's important that we do have a strong navy. Alright, well I got no money so I can't purchase any of this shit. Two turns to wait and then, then we'll have that under control. Um, yep, alright, sounds good. Let's move on. Now, with the port having been built at Capua, that should be increasing our income, yeah, by a very small margin. Okay, so, now, um, they're going to uh, starve out. The, their general faction leader died. It would be so much easier to assault it now. Well, it's only got one more turn to siege, so it might as well wait. I mean, the thing is, if we do go attack it now, we could we could move out to do other things. Plus, we could build something there during the turn. What have they got in here? Iberian infantry, round shield cavalry, Numidian mercenaries. Those cavalry aren't going to do shit. All right, let's go in and attack them. I wouldn't have done this if their general didn't die of old age. Their general dying of old age was a stroke of fortune for us. It might have happened actually a turn earlier, I just, I didn't notice it until now. So guys, we've just reached 45 minutes on the episode. I mean, you guys can already tell what the length of the video is. Like I said, I'm going to commit to an hour and a half long episodes, 90 minute long episodes. 
to see how things go. Like, and uh, like I said, if you're one of those people that you just can't sit down for 90 minutes or just don't have time to watch a 90 minute long episode, you know, just watch, watch it over two days. Like, this is not going to have daily uploads. You'll get a number of days to finish things off. And that being said, even if, the cam even if you do fall behind, these campaigns, they stay on YouTube forever. I never delete any of my videos except for my Twitch live stream updates. Even the, the videos, which I absolutely hate. I, I got heaps of them. I got heaps of videos online that I fucking hate. I really, and I wish I didn't never made. I don't take them down. Because the thing is, I think it's important to learn from our mistakes rather than cover them, cover them up. So I'll leave them as sort of a reminder of perhaps what not to do. So I've got a new mouse, and it's a um, it's not wireless this time, so I don't have to worry about it constantly changing the battery. However, because it's a new mouse, I'm still trying to get used to it a little bit. Much bigger than my other. It's a proper gaming mouse. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but you know, I'm so used to my my tiny little wireless one. So these these little things require getting used to. I'm not too I'm too fond of my new keyboard. I always I make more typos now than I did before. And I think it's louder. But I don't know. I could just, it just takes time to get used to stuff. Our soldiers are at the gates. Oh, that's now they must fire right. way through. Just forget about that. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. Oh shit, it's doing that here as well. Us today. The walls are broken! Our troops should be ordered forward. So good, those Iberian infantry have been completely wiped out by archers. Now, for for no other reason than just to get experience, that was good, because um experience is especially good for missile units because it increases the amount of damage they do, which obviously makes them a hell of a lot better, especially with dealing with um armored units. Okay, since, um, what, what's the cost of these mercenaries? They, they cost the same as Hastati. Okay, that's fine. Since we've only got cavalry left to deal with, then why not use the hoplites? Technically, they should be able to take on all of this by themselves. They're not very good at dealing with General's Bodyguard because they're not the best hoplites. And of course, just the, the difficulty level. I'm, I mean, you get a, they get a huge bonus versus cavalry, but the problem is that that, that bonus can be negated just by now difficulty is the time level. To press on and capture this place. Because I've seen generals, enemy generals, bodyguard charge head on into pikes and not die. Okay, it doesn't matter me, to me if we take a little bit of damage from their javelins. They should... They should run out of, dam, uh, out of ammo before they've, any, before they've done anything too severe. So they killed 30 men. And also, if we lose these mercenary hoplites, hoplites I really don't give a fuck. I only care about my Roman units. Because we can't retrain these guys anyway, and also getting them down to like one man would be good to put them in a fort. As you guys have seen in the past, I do like to build lots of forts because forts are great for holding choke points. Oh, geez, this, they're not doing a very good job. I thought they'd beat the round shoot cavalry, but I guess not. Waiting for reinforcements. For, like I said, I don't care about them. And they couldn't even take out one unit of cavalry. The enemy general right. is they can easily beat the rest of them now. Get in there. It is time to press the attack. Also, our general is a bit of an old man, so if he does die, it's not the end of the world. This is not good. 
whatever the case is, that, I think that's a good victory. We essentially only lost a lot of um, uh, the, the hoplites, which I don't care about. Alright, so yeah, enslave them. That gives us more population in Capua. 9,000. It's almost ready to get to the next level. Also got a little bit of extra cash. So we've got another buy remat here. What's the upkeep cost on these things? 100. Alright, I might actually get rid of it. Actually, no, 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 because... Yeah, you can stay there. You're gonna, you're gonna come down. Come down and help. Watch out for fucking pirates. Um, let's see here. Alright, we got a tiny amount of money, and also the extra 730 in profit. It's actually more than that, because it's, it's paying for some of the troops as well. Uh, but that'll help, uh, help with our finances. So, yeah, our treasury's about... Getting about fifteen hundred a turn now. All right, what are we going to do? To do training some equities will be good. I don't have a lot of money. Maybe maybe I should focus on. Um, hang on, let me just see. Can we can we possibly get over to to Africa? Let's have a look. I just want to reorganize this. Okay, come on. Drop the taxes. How much bonus are they getting from, from this? 80%. Because there's not a heap of people here. Okay, we should be able to just recruit some peasants here. And that will sort it out. There goes a lot of my money. That's okay. We've, we've got a good income coming through. So I want you to come with me. Oh, because there were there were troops that had low movement. Right. That's okay. Well, they should be safe on the boat. Bring these guys over here as an additional escort just in case. A tiny amount of money to build one thing. I might as well build a road. Actually, cancel one of those. No, it's not worth it. Alright, moving on. So they want me to blockade the port of Thapsis. Alright, well if that's where we, we're needed, that's where we'll go. Um, okay, I want you guys to land there. Set sail! All ashore! Ready to sail. And you can go and blockade the port of uh, port of Carthage. Maybe I should have landed here. There was actually not that much defending General. it. That being said, this isn't too bad either. Let's take it. Engage the enemy. What mercs and uh, mercenaries have we got? Okay, our finances are really not in the best shape. So recruiting more mercenaries against an enemy that we don't really need to right now is not necessary. So they didn't feel the need to give us any senate officers. That's fine. Lily boy, and what are we doing here? No, no more, no more peasants. That's enough. Need the port. Trade all those slaves to Capua. See, it's getting some slaves. They'd be coming just from Syracuse, I think. We've already got 10,000. Alright, you need to come down here as well. Wait, should you get rid of this ship? Yeah, we don't want them moving their... Hang on, what have they got up here? Two ships up there. Yeah, we don't want them moving around. Get rid of this motherfucker. Yeah, Reblockade the port. Looking good? Let's move on. Take the settlement of Carthage. They've given us 10 turns to do that, so yeah, I really should have landed in Carthage. Well, we'll take Thapsus first, I think. 
It looks like we can possibly do a draw out battle. But I need to just weigh up my options. Okay, so we will need to kill a general to do this. I left my fucking spy over here, didn't I? Alright, well. Fleet ready. Oh mother I left the general on the on the boat again. Doesn't matter. Fleet ready. Don't really need him just yet. Yes, Captain. Get down here. He's, he'll be no good inside Carthage, I think. Um, we'll get him down here, because that's probably where I'll head down after we've taken this stuff. Alright, now, should we go out in the open field? I think so. But that'll mean... Hmm. How are we going to go about this? It depends on what they've got. Let's just send... Oh, actually, the general could, oh, the general could have been really handy. Let's see how this goes. So the bounce of power is even. We can easily crush that. We won't have to worry about. All right, I got I got a good feeling about this. Let's do it. Today we face the mighty Carthaginians, brave men, and worthy foes. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. I think I forgot to show the the, uh, the speech at Lilibium, and the one outside of uh, Syracuse. Like I said, I sometimes I just run on autopilot with this this game, and um, I'm used to just skipping the, the speeches because I've heard them all by now. Alright, now what we want to do is let them sort of get into the middle. We want to take out the enemy general first, because at one, once the bounce of power starts moving in our favour, they'll they'll flee like crazy. They'll, they'll want to get the fuck out of here. However, because they're all infantry, if they're in the middle of the map, and then they decide to flee, well, it's too late for them. We'll, we'll run them down. But the general can get away. Now... Some of the problem here is that generals can be very slippy, slippery. So we'll just have to see how we go. Bounce of power is not really in our favor, but it will be once we once we kill that general. All right, let's slow down because we need to do this right. And the general's standing right there. Guarded by Iberian infantry. You go in first. Because you're the shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, m motherfucker, my general was like the, the first in there. So he doesn't get killed. But luckily, we do have him pincered. Brave son of a bitch. Kill him. Kill him. It's not it's not gonna work unless be praised. Okay, good, we got it. killed. Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Okay, we should just have to touch them to make him get the fuck out of there, you're about to be charged, you bitch. Alright, get out of flight. here. Run them down. Them and drive them from the battlefield. Now the bounce of power is moving in our favor, but it's not, it's not as much in our favor as I thought it would be. The enemy doesn't seem to be running away just yet. Alright, that, that went well, but it could have gone a lot worse. What are they doing? Are they getting the fuck out of here? We gotta go, we gotta get them. Ah, this is the problem. They run away. Oh, hang on, no they're not. They're not doing it. Alright, get around over here. We want to cut off their exit. We need to kill this general here first. He needs to be the first to die. Okay, slow, slow back down. It also makes it a lot easier to kill the enemy if they're tired. If they, they keep charging after us, it makes our job a lot easier. Come on, charge him right there. Make sure you do this thing so he doesn't actually get charged in there. Come on, 
Okay, good. That general's still alive. The gods be praised. Good. The they enemy both died. general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. I always worry in Rome Total War about charging into the enemy with with generals because, you know, I've seen a general charge head on into peasants and be the first one to die. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes they're the last ones to die. So comes down to a bit of luck sometimes. Enemy army is in flight. But we eradicated them pretty much right down to the last man. No, exactly right down to the last man. So Thapsus is ours without a siege. Which is of course ideal. Victory! Imperator, prepare for battle. Victory! This land is Roman! Okay, public order here is not great though, so we're gonna need to fix it up a bit before we before we head up. But we essentially lost no men coming here. We'll probably need some more hostility. And we'll need to get the population down anyway, so that's fine. We can certainly pay for it with the amount of money we're getting. Let's build the Temple of Saturn here. Shrine to Saturn. That will certainly help. So you come in here. I think I can retrain you. Yep. Alright, let's build here. What do we need? Shrine to Neptune, because that's all the money I've got. Now, next turn. Yeah, we're, we're making more money. So, I think we've got 10 turns to take Carthage. Consider it done. I can't see any real problem with that. Let's move on. Oh, they just had to attack this one, didn't they? General in there. Crushing defeat. God damn it. Stupid order resolves. Oh, my guy's in there. Likely he's not sunk yet. I need to get him back on dry land. Get over here. And same with you, try to get back over here. We'll re regroup over this way. Should be safe there. I don't think the, the Carthaginian Navy can reach us. Fuck are the Numidians doing here? Flavius Scipio. Good, another general here. I feel like if I leave these guys here, they're leave them be, they'll attack Thapsus. But, I won't do anything without the Senate's permission, so we'll leave the peasants here, just as before, and make our way to Carthage. Actually, you, if you could go out here and hunt down the enemy navy, we could just try and prevent them from, from attacking us. Good. That was a, I was a little bit uncertain about that one. But yeah. Because they, they could have possibly sunk him. Alright, looks like we got a possibility here for a field battle. But hang on, let's just check this first. Alright, that'll keep the public order under control. You come with us. What's the upkeep cost on him now? 61. So yeah, it'd be good for him to take a few more casualties. So that we can just live in a fort somewhere. Or across a river crossing or something. Okay, more Temple of Saturn would be good. Alright, over here, Lilybiom. Shrine to Neptune. No, no, no. A public order is fine, so go with. Go with population growth. Okay, priority needs to be given to. To Capua. Oh, god damn it. Just don't have enough funds. Alright, cancel that. And do we have enough funds now? Damn, I just need a few more. I'm sure it'll still be fine. Still not enough. I need fucking eight denarii. Oh well. 
gotta hurry up if we want them Marion's reforms. Gotta, gotta get them population up. Okay, now with this here. They'll probably withdraw, yep. This doesn't look to be too difficult. Let's go crush them. And they can't withdraw now. Body, many great scars, honorably earned in battle. I have fought many a foe in open combat. I come to fight today. Who stands with me? Today we go against the Carthaginians. Their foul baby killing is only the start of their wickedness. So beware. In victory, they are cruel beyond words. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? This army includes fully half of all our warriors. It is a mighty host, and little can stand against it. Our foes certainly have rumbling guts at the very thought that you are marching against them. Remember that as you cut them down. by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. All right. Um, I don't anticipate any real problems here. But the problem is that, well, the challenge here is, I suppose, that if I, if I send these guys in like this, and some of them get killed, I can't... I'm not adopting any candidates, so I do have limited general's bodyguard, you know, until, you know, other people are born. And it takes about 32 turns for someone to, to be born before I can actually use them. But most of these men... Oh, actually, no, that's not true. Uh, most, I was going to say most of them have already had their children, but I think there's a 17-year-old dude in here. It's just that I'm worried about those Beliarix slingers. They're just going to rip through my infantry. Alright, let's not worry about it too much. We'll get in there. I don't I don't anticipate too much problem. I mean, it's just, it's just crappy infantry. Town militia. But the problem is, sometimes accidents happen. And fucking generals get hit too hard on a charge and die. Okay, that's it. They're, they're skirmishing. Skirmish away from the main line. Okay, so far so good. All of our generals should be... Just trying to keep an eye on them. Should be over here. Good, we got some routing units. I mean, he's not routing yet. Is it these guys? The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond. The enemy general is slain. Pull back from there. I'm sure he'll break. It is time to Just give it a second. Maybe not. You see, if these were troops under my command, there is no way in hell my men would have lasted that long. Turn around. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Ah, 
how'd we go? 78% of them so far. Give him a good old horse sandwich, motherfucker. Timing. All right, here we go. Horse oh, sandwich, motherfucker. The gods be praised. The enemy Could general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. And we lost nothing. I mean, we lost some bodyguard, but that doesn't count. Don't need to worry about the last few men. Or one man. Good, we've absolutely slaughtered the Carthaginians so far. Victory! Move to Peter, sir. Military Tribune, that's great. And the faction heir is here as well. It might be an idea to start handing over some of his retinue to, to him. Just in case he dies. Yeah, don't worry about the other ones. Okay, good. How old's he? 41. Well, I prefer him younger. I like them to reign for a long time, but that's fine. Alright, now, can our generals get further? No. Because it'd be good to do a draw out on them, but considering our generals just had a fight, might be a good idea just to let them have the end turn to, to rest. And we got no more money. Okay, moving on. fuck do you want, Namidia? Alliance, trade rights, and map information. Oh, well, I haven't really checked with the Senate, but they, they don't ever say that, um... That alliances aren't bad. Look, I'll accept this. But if the Senate wants me to kill you, well then, you can kiss your alliance goodbye. Essentially, I'm really just using that alliance as a non-aggression pact, although they'll break it anyway. Cancel that off. Build that as we were going to. Popularity falls with the masses. The common people now hate you with a passion, and it's hard to conceive of any events that would make you less popular. Yeah, alright, whatever. Let's have a look at that. So we look at our Senate floor. Yep, they hate us. But you don't have to worry about that at the beginning. It doesn't really cause any problems. It's just. The lower it is, the harder it is to. Well, just the longer it's going to take you to get to, um... Uh, Endgame. Okay, they've got a lot of units in there. That's... Somewhat problematic. Because that'll make it hard to get in there. Hard to assault the settlement. Not impossible, though. It depends on what they've got. Where's where's my spy? Can you... Oh, God. Hang on. If you come over here... That spy. Can you get over here? Yeah. Ninety-one percent. Get in there. All right. So we got two generals in there. Hmm. We need to draw them out somehow, because assaulting that would be very costly for us. I mean, we could do it, but it, I'm mainly concerned about those two generals in there. It's just a lot. How much longer do we have? What's the Senate said? What have they said? We've got eight turns. I mean, we could besiege that. How long would it say it would take? Eight turns. So we have to get... We, we can't just besiege and starve them out. Alright, I have an idea. I'm going to come here. March. Build a fort. I shouldn't have taken the entire army. And stay March. here. And see if they come out here and besiege it. Just sort of leave it as an enticing area for Ooh, look, they left a uh, fort there. Let's, let's go take it. If they don't take it on the next turn, then I'll just besiege the settlement. We'll just have to suck it up. I, I, uh, 
Now you should come back over here for retraining. Set sail! Out of move, sir! Aye, Captain. Yes, Captain! Fleet ready! I don't know how much of a good idea it is to keep you there. You should come over here. Out of move, sir. Fleet ready. I think they need retraining as well. Right, send them back to Thapsis. It doesn't really matter to me if Carthage is blockaded or not. Alright. Money, money, money. How are we going to make more money? See, that's not really helping because... These, these fucking rebels showed up here. But it's not worth my time to come here, go back here and deal with them. But they're blocking trade between these two regions. This one needs a, a, um, a road in order to trade with them in the first place. Well, I mean, they're trading. It's just that would increase trade. Let's go with population growth. The public order's fine. And we're out of money. Alright, so financially, how are we doing? Pretty good. Mercenaries... Yeah, there's quite a few here. But I don't think I need to worry about that. Let's move on. Alright, the they didn't fall for it. Which means we'll have to assault. Otherwise we're not going to take the settlement. Or we're not going to take it in time, more like it. But the, the thing is, I've got so many of these general units, and they're not going to be that effective in the battle. Fuck it. You know, no guts, no glory. Let's do this. I'll let you use siege towers. Okay. It would probably be a good idea if we had some Libyan mercenaries. They could come in handy. Alright, let's see what else can we build. I mean, it does say it increases in trade. Yeah, just not very much. Better, I think, to go with the cheaper stuff is going to increase public order. Good stuff. Let's move on. Hang on. You need to come over here. You could come in handy. I'll keep him in in there for now. That that doesn't bother me. Sixty one is not a high cost for um for a for a fort. All right. So you need to come over here to get retrained, and why won't they merge? You don't have any um. Hmm, I wonder why they won't merge. Uh, because he's got something, that's why. Motherfucker, I hate it when they do this. Um, I right, need to stay there. Oh, I've got no bloody money. Alright, let's move on. My spy got ejected, but that's fine. I took a bit of damage from that, from just the intern. I mean, trying to starve them out is really not going to help that much. I mean, we've got a bigger army than them, but I'm just worried. Because inside the settlement, they get unlimited morale. And there, there is, of course, these two here. They're, they're going to be very dangerous. But we might be able to use the walls against them. Bounce powers heavily in our favor. Let's do this. Cornelius, Scipio, fucking kill them. I'm just going to call him Publius Cornelius Scipio. Because in this, they, they, uh, you could skip, they don't have the, the three names, you know, because that's, that's what the Romans had, the Roman nobility. Because you'd have, like, you, your given name, which would have been, like, Publius or something like that, and then you would have your, your last name, which would have been Cornelius, but then you have your tribe name, which would be Scipio. That's how, that's how I think it worked. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay, so we're gonna put these guys... You know, get them off. Use, use the Libyan wankers first. So 
put them around different parts of the map here. Because we want to control the... Um, can we get it from there? We want to control the walls. If the walls can shoot back at the enemy, we might get lucky and actually kill some of the uh, enemy general's bodyguard. Good, no one's here. Okay, what I'm going to do here is just pause the recording, because this is going to take a little while. I want these guys to get up and start capturing all, all of the different um, the towers. Uh, and once that's done, we'll start making some, some tactical maneuvers from there. Okay, so I haven't yet captured all the towers, but we've got an opportunity here which I want to show. Took a few casualties, as, as you do when you're running around like this. Um, it's okay, it'll be mercy, mercy, you can just shit. So what I want to do here is get these, once they get all together, Shoot the crap out of these round shield cavalry. Now we've also got our archers in position over here to come up on the walls. So what are these guys? Yeah, they're exhausted. And they're wavering, that's not good. Fucking cowards. Once they get a few shots off on them, they might feel a little bit better about the situation. So we've already captured these towers. Captured up until... I haven't captured that yet, but I think I captured this yet, but that's not going to fire back at them. Oh god, they're taking forever. So they come back and then we just shoot them a bit. And you get the general idea. So once again, I pause the recording, I'm still trying to get everything set up so that uh, we can get ready for the attack. But we got we got to control the walls first. Okay, I've got a plan in, in the works at the moment, so here's here's Raise what I'm trying to the do. The siege towers are at the walls. Now the real fight begins. Just move just one of the other siege towers over there. Don't worry about that right now. So I've got my archers over here. And I've lured these guys over here a little bit. I've got some hostati on the wall. What I want to do is I want to lure them a little bit more over here so that I, I'm in range to shoot them, but also can um, can fight them. They'll just help to get rid of this, these guys a little bit. So I'm gonna bring them a little bit closer because they're not, they don't have the high, super high range. Now I need you guys to just stand right there. Are they coming for us? Not yet. Probably because their battalions spread out across all over the place there. That's okay. They're not coming at us just yet. Get a bit closer then. What's going on? Usually they do come. There we go. Okay, now, come back over here. Quickly, quick, 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 quick. Want to be on the other side of this. Okay, good. The archers are shooting at them. That's what I wanted. Okay, never mind. You can, you can attack from here now. With the archers shooting them as they're coming in, we just need to make sure that we're covered from archer fire by this here. Nice and fresh versus units that are... I can't tell if they're fresh or not, but we're beating them. We should just shoot them. Very unlikely to get any friendly fire from here. Uh, they're shooting all over the place, alright, just, just hang on. Wait until they get a little bit more over here first. Actually, go a bit step further and try to break the motherfucker. Because if he's fighting to the death, th that means they fight like shit. By fire attack. It's okay, you got the general right here. And we've got control of the tower as well, so don't worry about that.
thing is the fire attack doesn't do as much damage to it, but like I said, if we can break them, it will it'll save our men's lives. Okay, I think we need to do a little bit more damage to them first before we use the flaming attack. I've always said the flaming attack is shit on this difficulty. See, I'm killing more of my own men now. Okay, now use flaming shot. It doesn't do enough morale damage. Alright, just, just back off now. It's more likely to shoot our own men than these. And good, they finally break. Also, I didn't want to waste too much of their ammo. Right, now what you guys should do, just hold back for a moment. I told you to stop. Use, use your javelins. Use your pillar. What the fuck? How many times do I go to- Oh, right. That'd be why. What's this over here? R what the fuck are you doing in here? Get the hell out there. You dumbass. You're lucky they weren't over here to try and kill you. Alright, so if we look at the casualty count, so we lost a bit under 50 men. Actually, there's probably going to be a bit more than that once they're done with them. But we've taken out one of their units. Now, that unit is of lower quality than these, but because of the difficulty level, it actually makes them higher quality, especially considering that their general is higher ranked than ours. Alright, truth be told, I think attacking from here is, is not going to work, but... We've still got a few things that we can do. These guys here have used up all their ammunition. As I was running past this way with my with these guys, they used up their stuff. So I want these guys to shoot the uh, the Numidian cav. And these guys here, just give that up. Start making your way over here because we are going to come in through that door. Oh, maybe they do have a little bit of ammo left. Couldn't be much. Looks like the front out good. Might just be an idea if I can get my archer over here, they might be able to shoot them, although I doubt it. But it's worth a shot. Especially if if we can kill some of their general's bodyguard, because that's you know most dangerous unit we can be fighting in here. Good, got rid of a decent number of them, but not all of them. So yeah. Start making your way over here. You know what? Don't don't worry about it, I don't think that's going to work. It's time for us to come inside and actually try and make this attack. What we need to do, I think, is come up through this way here and just hold as a strong position here as best as possible and just try and push through a little bit at a time. Because if we spread out, and well, the, the unit that's not near the enemy general will die. Okay. Sorry, no, that's not near our general, I mean. What the fuck are they doing out here? I mean, it's fine with me, it's just... They're just gonna die. That's stupid of them. That's unusually stupid of them. Right, so I want you guys to get inside first. I just stand here, that way if they, if they come up this way and attack us, you can shoot them from the high ground.
Ideally, it would be good if my generals can be fighting the, the enemy generals. But we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. Get these guys inside now. Okay, they're getting off the walls now. That's fine. So in total, we took out a unit of, I think, round shield cavalry and a unit of their uh, Libyan spears. make a big effort to try and protect the walls in this. They just go straight in here because they know that morale-wise it's unlimited. Looks like we've got a unit a little bit stuck there. Okay, I think in groups of two start making your way down here. Here. Hang on, I'm getting a phone call. I need to take this. I'll be right back. Okay, let's resume. Okay, stop. You need to be. You need to be shooting them. Too slow. Way too slow. Up the gun on that one. But our guys fight them well. I just wanted them to use their javelins. That being said, it might be better if they save the, ja uh, the javelins for the uh, general's bodyguard. Okay, if you can't shoot them from there, then you might as well get off the wall. Just need to make sure that my guys here do not break. Our guys aren't doing too badly there, but you know they're, they're taking some damage. But we'll be able to retrain them all here as long as the the integrity of the of the units themselves remain. So you know, as long as it doesn't go below like 32 men or something like that. This one here is taking heaps of damage, but they're not. There's some to wrap around this one here. That'll be good. Don't worry about them. They're not important anymore. That's pretty much their infantry completely dealt with. They don't... Oh wait, no, they've still got one more. Oh, that's only town militia, that's okay. That's not worry about that. Now all of them will need a bit of a rest. We need to put in the units that are not so tired. Why are you exhausted? Oh, probably because they ran all the way here. You guys start coming in here. Just, just let them go. It's all good, let them go. Need to wait a moment because exhausted units not only do they not fight very well, but their morale is shit. Okay, don't worry about them. Okay, we can't hit them yet, we've got to get it getting closer. 
Which should I want to do just yet? Okay, I'm gonna bring in these other generals. Okay, this one here is fresh. Let's put him up front. this back line. Get these guys up a little bit more. Oh, hang on, I think the enemy generals, they're on their way. Yeah, you stay on fire at will because you're up front. Come a little bit closer. Same with you, get a little bit closer. Spirit listed by generals. Encouragement, that's good. Alright, take a shot at the general's bodyguard now. Especially because it's in their back. Okay, I think we killed one of them. Okay, just wanted the one shot. Let's see if he backs off. If he comes over here, that's fine. But our guys here are not going to survive for very long. Try and let him swear himself out a little bit. Oh man, how the fuck did they charge from that distance? Alright, whatever. And inside of a settlement. So he's still eager. It's okay if he takes a bit of damage. Okay, the rest of these guys, get him in here. Let's keep an eye on the morale. When it starts to fucking go too far downhill. Send in these generals to go and fight. Can't afford. Oh shit. Okay, let's go, go, go. He's, he's about to get smashed. Okay, the integrity of this unit is probably gone, but that's okay. Because it's just a starty. Let's just have our generals don't get killed in this, this big mess here. So they would have. It, it wore them out slightly. It's also four generals versus two. And we've also got the infantry in there, and also our generals are coming around the fight. Problem is that it doesn't matter about how many how many numbers we've got here. If they kill the actual general themselves, then that's a disaster. I'm I'm not in control of that. In medieval tools a lot easier to move your general out of the way. See, see, look at this fucking moron here. He's probably dead meat. The thing is, your generals will often do this. So far, so good, though. None of our guys have died. The enemy king has been killed. This will surely make his followers waver. Round shield cavalry. Okay, the rest of this, I think the cavalry can handle. Let's get in there. Because there's there's no infantry left to worry about. Okay, both enemy generals have fallen. Round shield cavalry top. This guy here is probably dead meat. He's, he's right in the thick of it there. Yeah, he, he's... I can't get him out of that. He, he's dead. Oh, he's, he's holding out. Come on, just hold out a little while longer. Look at them, they're getting slaughtered. God, you're going to get scarred after that, but it looks like we came, came through. Alright, that's all their cavalry done. Okay, you guys get the fuck out of here. Except for you, you stay here. It's it's somewhat okay if the enemy general dies. I mean, sorry, if our general dies because he's old. Alright, you guys come in. I doubt the, the integrity of this unit is going to remain, but I can easily recruit more. I can probably recruit Pinker Page from here, because this, this should be a pretty big settlement. It's an hour and 40 minutes. That's okay, like I said, it'll be at least an hour and a half each, episode, uh, each of these episodes. Oh, there's still this 
They've got like a unit over here. What's he doing? Just come down there and attack it. Oh, I can't do anything until they're all down here. Whatever. We're about to capture the thing. Come on, fight him. There we go. Alright, so let's have a look here. 21. I really doubt that the that unit's going to remain, but we'll see. I think if it falls below 30, they get merged into other units. Alright, so yeah, we'll enslave that population to disperse amongst governed settlements. That should go straight to Capua. Fuck, Capua's got bad public order now. Alright, so... Yeah, it, it got merged. Yeah, he's not there anymore. So, Senate mission is successful. We got some scorpions at the capital. Let's have a quick look at that. How's the public order here? We got it on low tax rate. Well, one turn should sort it out. It's just that there'd be huge squalor penalties. So, it should be okay. As for the scorpions, I mean, they do no damage versus buildings. I don't really need it. Uh, I don't really like him either, so I'm going to get rid of that. Doesn't, doesn't make any difference with regard to public order. And now we have Carthage. Now from Carthage, we can get better units, Prinkipe. So losing that unit of infantry was not that bad. And that overall, that went really well. I mean, we just took our time and did it. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe, part two is next. And uh, don't forget to visit me on Facebook. And don't forget to check out White Tide Games. And we'll see you next time, fuckers.